Hey everyone, welcome to the Code Igniter application series. The first thing we're going to want to understand is what is MVC? MVC stands for Model View Controller. And what I'm going to do is give you a demonstration with pictures on how it works. Then I'll give you some sample code. First of all, we start with our controller. And I just have a big circle here that says controller. And what happens is you'll hit a URL and it'll load a certain controller based on the URL. So if we had a URL that had slash user in it, we would load a user controller. Okay. And by default, it'll load an index method. But we'll get into that shortly. The next thing you would do is load a view. So again, if you loaded a user controller, we would load a user view. And that's to display the web page. Um, and these two tie together like that. The controller only talks to the view. The view is like the final outcome. It never talks back to the controller. The third part is the model, and this is where a lot of people get confused. The model is made for business logic, and when you think of business logic, what we're going to be doing is mostly database stuff, uh, talking to MySQL and different tables. So think of the model as where your access point is for talking to the database. And the way the model works is, the controller, once a URL hits the controller, which is step one, optionally, if you want to get data from the database, let's say a user list, you'd hit the user controller, and then you'd hit the user model, and you'd send that data back to the controller, and then the controller would pass the data into the view. This might look like a lot of steps, but you have to realize, view is pretty much HTML code. Controller is like the middleman, and model is all your database logic. So you're separating all your code into different components. It'll help if you look at this like a file structure. We have three folders, controller, model, and view. And inside of these folders, we have three files dedicated to one layout. The first controller is user. The second uh, model is user model. And the third view is the user view. And these would all tie together depending on how you program it. I think it'll make a little more sense if I show you some actual code. So let's load that up. Right here what we have in the blue box is a URL working on a local host. And this is just the structure of it. We have a controller and a method. So the controller is the actual class name. And you notice how this is a capital C. You should always give your class names a capital letter. And then the method in the URL goes to the method and in here is where you would handle all your logic I will say this you can also pass additional parameters in here so if you were to do slash param you could just put it in here and say param and you could do whatever you would like with that so that's the first example let's look at a better one here's one that loads the home page now I included slash index just for, so that you can see it. By default, CodeIgniter will load index if you don't provide it. So you don't always have to provide a method. I'll just leave it here though. So we're loading the home controller. We load the class home. And then it's the index method. So index. And in this one, we're loading a view. And this is the actual code to load a view in CodeIgniter. This load view, and then the name of the view. In this case, it's home and that's pretty simple and for the third and final example this one's with a parameter and a model might look a little scary at first but let's break it down we load the user controller so we have class user we go to the method view so we go to the view and we're passing a parameter of one this would be like if we wanted to look at an individual's profile and we have the ID right here so the first thing we have to do, since we're saving our records in the database, is access the database, and we do that with a model. So I use this load model, user model. And what that does is it makes the user model accessible to the controller with the this keyword. And what I did was I did this user model, get, and then the ID. And that's just an example call. We would actually have to write out the model code. I assigned what would be a return value to the data variable 
and then we load a view the user view and we pass in data so now all that database information about this user that came from the model can now be accessed within the HTML view and with this little bit of code we can have things super clean I should say that you're not limited to one method per class by the way you don't just have to have view you could have hundreds in here if you wanted but that's the gist of all of this um, I think it's all gonna make a lot more sense once you start developing the application so let's get to it